Okay, here we go. Candle, 25, plant. Alrighty, let's do this. Hi YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to identify ghosts and phasmophobia. And, and if you have been watching the last two videos, the spirit and the haunt two, and the others, because this will be after the haunt one, though I put those two. I will learn try to show you guys how to identify what ghost type this is. So yeah, if you enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on vacation, and yeah. It's in the living room. No, I think it's a polter. I think they're the polter theory. So twenty. I lost from the mirror. Yeah, it did. It did one. Oh God. This is the polter. What I need to do just set set up because I can't do it in the living room because the ghost is literally right here. So what I need to do because it did a polter guys um polter throw. What I need to do is just chuck a bunch of things here. Since it's in the living room, it's a bit harder to do a polter guys. So what I think have happened is a product guys ability by the way is where you can throw multiple items at once. Each item will drain your sanity by five. Every time it throws an um does a multi multiple multiple throw. And now what I think it did. So so I am very sure. Yep. It's a polter. Okay. Do not throw that cup at me. I get it. You're trying to assault me with the cup and now you're trying to assault me with a boot. Oh god. Hell no. Ghost. Mm. Stop trying to throw stuff at me. Get it, you're a poltergeist. Wait, it's a poltergeist. So how do I identify a ghost by the way I'm a poltergeist doing a hunt? Is if you hear a bunch of throws, it's a poltergeist. I can't really show you on this map. But I think I can explain. So doing a polter guys, it will throw all this item, all these items, um, like crazy. It has a hundred percent chance to throw any items in 0 0.5 seconds. So if it just sounds like it's on a machine, then get another hunt and just pull a bunch of things in one area. Get a hunt and s um, like. Say if the ghost just wasn't here and it was in the um, living room, um, you um, so the ghost was not in the living room, and say so the ghost is upstairs. You grab everything you can nearby, put it all on the couch, get a hunt, and if it's just throwing every single item and throwing them far as well, because a normal ghost can't throw the item really that far. Say it's a boot here, it's just on land there. A polar guys can go. Throw the boot, land there. But this ghost, by the way, is trying to assault me with a cup and now they try to sh shoot, get me with um, a boot. So 
So what I'm doing right now is seeing if I can get a poker throw. So you guys can see one in real action. It's like one of the coolest things to see when it happens. When it does though, so, and I'm right here, this should be enough to drain my sanity to absolutely zero. Alright ghost. What's your plan? Hey? Okay. What's your plan? This is necessary. If you guys not, by the way, if you guys not seen a podcast pro, what uh, have you been doing? It's like one of the most amazing moments. I'm not giving it this remote. Everything is in place. Don't you dare roam room. You are clearly a porter guy. You threw two items at the same time. Unless it's just a twin. But it was doing big throws as well, I think. <sighs> no, go away. Do it. I've been waiting for this to see one. And we'll get a hunt by the way to show you what I mean. Since it's in this room I can actually show you. You are absolutely a jerk, aren't you? Set my things up at one place. Changes. Huh? It's freezing. No border guys? Why are you just a mimic, just mimic did a poltergeist? And I just did that all for nothing. Yeah, but it's a mimic, isn't it? 
No, oh, no. How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you here? Are you French? Are you Lisa? Are you Pizza? Not that. Okay, I'm gonna get a hunt. I'm yeah, I'm real. I thought I was a poster guy. Wait. Like the saying, if you think it's a photo guys, probably isn't a photo guys. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna break the mirror, by the way. Okay, this is a Yuri. I thought it was a poltergeist or mimic, but it's none of them. Let me take the standing pill because I'm from standing to pill because I will show you how to identify a Yuri with the basically the only way on actually identifying it. Quickly explain the Yuri with the front door. And bloody hunt me, I'm one die. So a Yuri, what it does is there's a theory of a Yuri where it will it was it would do act like a ghost event, but not like an actual ghost event. So if you hear a door lock, that's a, um, what a ghost event does. Is it would rather turn off a light or slam a door. If you if the door shuts and you hear that clicking sound and there's no ghost events, it's a Yui. And you would have lost like fifteen sanity, I believe, if drains. So yeah, that's like the only main way to actually identify a Yui with no evidence is if if it shuts the door like that and there's no ghost event, it's a Yuri. You'll be you will lose ten, um fifteen percent sanity. So yeah. There you go, it was a, um, it was a Yuri. I thought that was a poltergeist. I guess not because, makes sense. Yeah. I think it just threw the cup, and then threw another cup, like, very close to each other. It made me think it was a uh, poltergeist, a battery.
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you leave a like, turn on notification, go through this video if you have missed um the if you missed the last video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.